Hi everyone. Welcome to January 3rd, 2023. Happy New Year. We have had so much fun the past week um, just enjoying our family and doing, uh, oh my gosh, the kids took me to Six Flags for the first time. We, had, we have had so much fun, but now it's time to get serious. I actually have to run um, Gavin to a baseball tonight, and so I'm going to get dinner prepared for Maddie and our, our fearless leader um, so that Maddie can get it in the oven and get it going when she gets home from school. So I'm going to use, I don't, I think I'll, po I'll post the link to the video in the, in this one. It's been a couple of weeks and our, yeah, and I've forgotten how to do a video. <laughs> Hello, January 3rd. Okay, so I'm going to um, use a jar of chicken and a jar of the peas and carrots and potatoes and onions and celery and chicken broth that we made for um, pot pies. What I did was I left the meat out of this, so I basically made like a vegetable soup. And then um, I can either do chicken or beef, whichever one, whichever one I want to add to it and make a pot pie. So I did that this morning. Um, what I did was I got, I opened up the jars and I got a tablespoon, uh, maybe a tablespoon and a half, and then a tablespoon, a uh, tablespoon and a half of butter, and then a tablespoon of lard. And I um, added a quarter cup of flour to that einkorn flour. Now, usually when you're making a roux, you want to do equal parts butter, oil, flour. Because I wanted this to be a pot pie, I, um, I added just a little bit more flour um, so that it would, be, it would be a little bit thicker for the pot pie part. So I did that once the flour and the butter and the lard came together and created the roux, I then added my jar of vegetable soup or pot pie filling and um, the chicken. And I did not reserve any of the liquid. I added all of that liquid. What happened was, is then I let that come to a boil and it does not necessarily look good, but it's gonna taste so good. But um, it, because the broth is so dark, it made this gorgeous golden color um, pot pie filling. So I made that this morning. If you are a busy mom who has to be out of the house at um, by eight or whatever in the morning, then what I would do is make this the night before and then you have everything ready um, to do when you get home and you don't have to do any prep work when you get home, you, everything's ready. Um, you can have it in your pie dish. Um, already with the with the bottom and the filling and the top crust and then you just stick it in the oven so this is um, great for either way if you have to be out of the house and you don't have time to do the prep in the morning you can do it the night before now we're gonna do the crust because I I don't remember if I've done a crust video or not um, I don't think I've done one using einkorn so I want to use einkorn um, for this crust so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get my stuff together. You'll need a bowl, a pastry blender, um, or a food processor. You can also do this in a food processor. First though, to get everything going, I'm gonna start with getting my butter and my lard going. And I'm gonna put you down so that you can see what we got going on here. So on my plate, I'm going to put um, a stick and a half of butter. And this is two cups of butter, so I'm going to And then I just, because I'm not wanting to pull my food processor out, I'm going to chop the 
butter up so that it's easy for my pastry cutter. Do them just a little bit smaller than what I usually would do if I were using my food processor. That makes sense. And then for the lard, I use a fourth a cup. So I actually um, processed the ham bone. And I had, um, actually did a short with that. And I had a good amount of fat that came off from that. And so that's what I'm using here. And I'm going to just kind of make that little pile of goodness. And then I'm going to put this in the freezer to let that get a little bit, um, harder consistency while I'm getting the dry ingredients together in the bowl. which was three cups of einkorn flour, a tablespoon of sugar, and a teaspoon of Redmond salt. And then I just blend that together, stir that all in together, and then I cut in um, the stick and a half of butter and the fourth a cup of lard. And I just worked it until it became like the consistency of peas. And then I poured in a cup of cold water. I like more of a wet pastry. And so I start with a cup and you could see how I was folding that spoon. Um, I kind of use it as a, like a hand and I go in and press and go in and press. If you want to use your hands, you totally can. Um, with the einkorn, it's a little sticky, and so I have learned that technique just out of practicing with the with the einkorn. This pie dough recipe also, you can also do it with just regular flour as well. So I start with a cup of cold water, I store or stir the um, water in, and I just keep adding water a tablespoon at, the, at a time until all of the flour is incorporated and it's a nice a nice pastry dough. I've got that um, wrapped in saran wrap in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and then I will pull it out and we're gonna roll it. Now, um, I'm going to use these individual pie pans and put them in the freezer for um, meals for this next month because it'll just be um, two eating tonight. So that way we can um, save on leftovers. I am of the opinion that pot pie is so much good, hot and fresh out of the oven. It's not so much our favorite the day after. Um, and that's probably not popular, but that's how we do it. So if you are good with leftovers, go ahead and put it in your regular, um, your regular pie plate. And when we get to that part, I will talk to you about that and show you that it's super, super easy. So we're going to roll the pie dough out and either put it in a pie um, plate or I'm going to cut, for me, I'm going to cut um, individual pie shells and then do the filling and then top with another pie shell. So I will show you how that works. And these are just, it's just fun to have a homemade um, pie, uh, homemade pot pie to come out of the oven. The, um, this is actually my first time to do it with the canned um, vegetables and the chicken. So that will be exciting. We, um, I'm excited to hear what the, what everyone says tonight after dinner. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. Okay. 
below so that you can see how I fill the pie plate and then how I top it with the crust. As you can see, there is a little bit of overhang on the um, on the in the pie plate to the crust because I want to be able to fold the top over and pinch it so that the top and bottom crust seal. And so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, on that first one that I cut, um, there was not very much of the leftover. And so what I did is I just, as I was putting it in, I used my fingers and just kind of moved a little bit up at the top. And I still think that's going to be okay. So we got four out of this recipe. We might be able to get five, but I'm going to see. Or you can do... Um, a regular pie plate and so you would just cut those cut the dough into two and roll one out and put on the bottom fill it and then put the top crust on top and you'll do it the same way with the small and the large um, you can also buy the um, already rolled out crust um, and not even have to fool with the, with the crust part. Either way, it's delicious. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna take that and the pie filling and I'm going to do about that much. Okay, and then I'm gonna take So that goes over and you can see it goes over. So I'm going to actually tuck underneath and make sure that I grab that pie press underneath and tuck. Grab a fork, get a little flour on it, and just crimp. If it starts to stick on you, just add a little bit more flour. Okay, and then you're gonna take your sharp knife and you're gonna just do some and also do this before you freeze as well and then that one is either ready for dinner it's either ready for dinner or um, to go in the freezer I'll flash freeze this and then I'll wrap it in saran wrap and foil
last one. I am I am only gonna have enough for four. I might have enough to have some cinnamon sugar crust for dessert. So then I'm going to put these in a 375 degree oven for um, 45 minutes to an hour. It will just depend on your oven, um, but you'll want the top to be golden and delicious. I will, um, not for the ones that I put in the freezer, but for these, I will do a um, egg yolk um, with a tablespoon of water and um, make an egg wash and brush that over the top before I put it in the oven, or actually Maddie is gonna do that. Um, and then um, she'll bake them for 45 minutes to an hour, and I will see if I can get her to take a picture of them coming out of the oven. But thank you so much for cooking with me and using our um, prepared meals in a jar. I am so excited about this coming baseball season, I feel like I am so much ahead.